Hey, you know, Hedge from Beard Mix Beers. Welcome back to another beard prod review. We've got another one from superfurry.nl for you, and this is their beard polisher. So, this is the Captain Barbarossa beard, uh, beard polisher. Um, what I'll do is I will run through first and foremost the price, the ingredient, the scent, the packaging, feel, my most important part of any beard prod related video, and the overall where I believe they stand. Um, this was created for my beard. <laughs> It wasn't, um, although I've got something from the website, um, <laughs> it was made for red beards. Um, so a beard polisher created for the ginger beard, the Irish flaming red to a mahogany deep red and everything in between. No more white hairs in your majestic red beard, got to get it in there, um, but an enhanced lustrous red glow. Adding grounded sandalwood powder as a pigment and mica, mica? Um, a coloured mineral powder pigment, this is the best choice for a majestic ginger beard. Uh, the residue on the gel at the bottom is a sandalwood residue that floats in the bottom when cooling down. What I'll do is I'll try and get that in there, but I don't know if I'll be able to get it with the glare. It's kind of like got like almost like a glittery glow to it. I can't really see because like it is like it is a kind of like a, a subtle glitter to it. So what I'm going to do is first on us, I'll run through the price, I'll run through the packaging, the ingredient which I'll pop in the description below. Um, I will run through the feel, which I believe is my most important part of any beard product related video that I've done, and the overall rating, what I rate the product, and what I'll do, or if I will use them moving forward. <clears throat> Discount code, because I forgot to mention it on the Scottish Heather Beard All video, um, WOOF10, so W O F 10. Um, that will get you 10% off the Super Furry website. What I'll do is I'll pop that in the description below with everything else, with the obviously the link to the website. Instagram, all that kind of good stuff. So I'll try and cram as much information in those comments below. So what I'm going to do is I'll look at the packaging, and it says on the website, if you collect ten jar tops, you get free jar free. Can't argue with that. So what we'll do is run through the price first. So the Captain Barbarossa for a 120 ml jar will cost you 25 euros. Exchange rate, you're looking at 21 pound 42, give or take. Um, Again, not, I don't think it's bad at all for, again, what you're getting inside here. So what I'll do is I'm going to show you the beard polisher itself. Look at that. I've used quite a bit of that. <laughs> I know, the worst thing is I only use this once a day as well. Um, it's part of the morning routine. So yeah, I, I, um, I've been uh, testing with how much I put on some, you know, quite a lot and then quite a little and see what it is. So again, I'm, I think I'm kind of in between like a, I'll show you. It'll be easy if I'm explain. I reckon I am about that. So a decent thing is it worth in there. And it does work into the beard really, really well. Back finger off. Uh, <laughs> the packaging again, <clears throat> simple but effective. Like I say, you've got big bright logo all information on there, you've got the ingredient at the back, and yeah, it's just absolutely solid. You'd see it, it would spot your eye. And again, that means that the lid in itself. Great, I like, I'm a, I am a fan of that. That's, yeah, it's just those little touches, uh, which is always good. Um, so, the ingredient, as I say, is on the side of the jar, which I will put in the description below, because there's plenty in there that I can't uh, pronounce and I don't make a fool of myself. <laughs> so what I'll do is jump onto the scent. Um, and I, I kind of put a few, I made a few notes of obviously what I, what I was feeling I was getting from it. Um, so I was getting like a, a woodsy, like a like a woody smell to it again, but that would be like the sandalwood. Um, some like earthiness to it as well. And this could have been just being a bit weird, but kind of like a, a nuttiness to it as well. And again, I'm not going to complain because I, I believe it worked really well because I obviously accompany this with the Scottish Heather beard oil. And, you know, it does the, um, like the floral and like the, the earthy woodiness, they, they worked really, really well. So for me, I, that was a nice little combination. And I said to Ivan, that's what I'm going to... I'm going to try it with them too, just because I want to see how they both come out. And again, two weeks using them, I wasn't thinking, oh, I need to change. It, it, they both worked really well together. So the feel, again, as I said, my most important part. It, it does seem a bit um, oily on the skin, but as soon as you work into your beard, you, know, you, don't, you don't have none of that greasy stuff. So again, it does absorb and it sits quite nice on the beard as well. As I say, I use about a finger's worth. So again, it, it's not a massive amount, but a little goes a long way. Um, obviously, like I do with the, with the beard oil, I'll move it in through the fingers and everything. Go it obviously try and get to the bottom of the skin as well as try and keep a little bit, you know, of the uh, the moisture underneath locked in. 
And then like I said, I'll just brush it through with my fingers. Any excess, I'll put it over the top of it, because obviously I don't want to make it you know, too heavy. Again, the, uh, the Scottish Heather was a nice heavy oil. And like I said, just then comb it through, Bob Issel, model number eight, and again, just, just fluff it out and let it go. Um, <clears throat> it just added a nice little extra something to the oil that I was using as well. Um, and the, the feel, like I say, it was, just, it was just very nice. Like I say, the, the consistency of the product itself, it wasn't lumpy, so you won't get any of those like, weird little lumpy bits in it. Really, really smooth, so it's been whipped up to perfection. Works into my hands really, really well. And then, like I say, through the beard, again, absolutely spot on, so I cannot complain whatsoever about that. Like I say, I, I can see the, like, the little glitter bit, obviously, when I will mention about the, the sandalwood dropping to the bottom. You, you can't see it on the camera, which is a shame. Um, but yeah, like I say, it just, as I said, you're not going to have none of the, um, like, the white residue from other... Um, non-specific ginger beard products <laughs> but like I say for me for me it works um, will I continue using this? Oh, yes you bet I will like I say I've got best part of a full jar there and that's definitely going to be used and again like I say I've got a got a big ginger beard that I need to maintain so yeah definitely for me that will be continue to be used up until I've got no more and will I be using superfury.nl in the future? yes either and I will definitely be back like I say I have got quite a few um, products to get through from what you sent out. Again, like I say, massive appreciate it, so thank you very much. Um, but yeah, like I say, I'll definitely be back. I want to say I want to try some of their different scents um, and just see what they've got out there. So <clears throat> for me, you definitely got a return customer where I can get through all this stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off there. Um, overall rating with the, with the oil and the, uh, the balm that I, the beard polish that I have used, absolutely fantastic. Uh, massive thumbs up for me. Big fan. Um, first time joining us, hopefully you want to think about subscribing. No pressure, but if you want to, just you know, push that little button over there. You click it, get you all subscribed and let you know also when my videos are going to come out. Guys, guys, you know, I massively appreciate your continued support. You know, I love you. Until the next one, take care, stay safe, and shout. Cheers.